The South Union Township Supervisors present the South Union Township Sports Network today from Hutchison. It's Little League this evening as the Pirates take on the Royals on the South Union Township Sports Network. Hi everybody, I'm Joshua Scully with the South Union Township Sports Network, which is a joint cooperative venture with Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, along with Armstrong and Breezeline Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Joshua Scully with South Union Township Sports Network, and we have the Pirates and Royals from Hutchison here tonight, Thursday, May the 2nd, 2024. It's Little League from Hutchison Park, and a beautiful May the 2nd it is. In fact, arguably one of the most beautiful days we've seen here in southwestern Pennsylvania so far in 2024. We reached a high temperature early today in the low 80s. And right now, as we prepare for first pitch under sunny skies and some long shadows across the infield, we still have a temperature of 77 degrees. We will see the Pirates taking the field here in the top of the first inning, and the Royals will be coming to the plate first. The Royals, of course, wearing their blue uniform, gray pants. The Pirates in their gold uniform, gray pants. And the Pirates are ready to get started. Pitching for the Pirates this evening will be... Number five, Dom Smith. He's also going to be batting third in the Pirates lineup. For the Royals, we will see leading off Nolan Latznick, who wears number four. He's making his way to the plate right now, ready to step in the batter's box. The Royals are sponsored by Ford of Uniontown. Head coach for the Royals, Bartholomew Donnelly. And we are just seconds away now from the first pitch as the umpires are preparing themselves. We'll see Adam Sepik in the field as the field umpire behind home plate, Todd Sherbondi. We had an opportunity to see both Adam and Todd working last evening on the South Union Township Sports Network. We had a doubleheader for you last night, 10U baseball. Today we've got one game that is set for a 7.30 p.m. first pitch. So we still are a few minutes before that, but we are otherwise ready to go. Let's talk now about who we'll see coming to the plate for the Royals here in this first inning. Due up, of course, is Nolan Latznick. He will be followed in that order by Jace Medlock and the number three batter, Jackson Donley. So we will at least see Latznick, Medlock, and Donley here batting in the first inning. We want to thank, of course, our sponsors for tonight who have made this possible. We want to thank you as well for joining us this evening on the South Union Township Sports Network. And we want to remind you, if you're watching this game on Breeze Line or Armstrong Cable, we want you to know that South Union Township Sports Network games and programs are now available live online. It's easy to find. Just log on to YouTube.com and search South Union Television or follow the South Union Township Sports Network on Facebook for program updates, Facebook.com backslash South Union TV. Subscribe for notifications when we go live. Sponsors for this evening's broadcast, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, Laurel Highlands Girls Basketball Boosters, and the South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Now we are ready to go here in this one between the Pirates and Royals and starting off with a good looking pitch there from Don Smith. We'll see a strike called against Nolan Latznick. Latznick right handed bat and the first batter of the evening. Here's the pitch from Smith. Latznick will swing through 0-2. And I know for sure for the Pirates having spoken with their coach ahead of time, J.R. Golden, 
He was very excited to see Dom Smith pitching for his team this evening. This one's going to miss up high, 1-2. The Pirates are sponsored by TriStar of Uniontown and the Hopwood VFD. Here's the pitch from Smith. This one's fouled back by Latsnick. And the Royals sponsored by Ford of Uniontown. Dom Smith working here in the top of the first inning for the Pirates Little League action from Hutchison Park. This one's going to miss outside, so Latsnick has battled his way back into this count. Latsnick again will be followed by Medlock and Donnelly here in the top of the first for the Royals. The pitch from Smith, that one's going to miss just a bit upstairs. Todd Shabandi again behind the plate. We got to see Mr. Shabandi. Work last night here for a 10-U baseball game, both in the field and behind the plate. This one fouled back by Latsnick. And it really goes without saying, we could not have these games without the quality work we get from our umpires. And this crew did a wonderful job yesterday. Here's the pitch from Smith. And this one is hit into left. And Latsnick gives that one a ride. It's going to get down and roll all the way to the wall. Latsnick is going to be into second with a stand-up double. And a nice piece of hitting there by Latsnick. In left field, Drew Gaster for the Pirates doing a good job getting after that one. Latsnick really getting a good piece for the Royals. And the Royals now have a runner in scoring position. Batting second, Jace Medlock. Medlock will step in here for the Royals. Also a right-handed bat, Dom Smith getting back to work. Here's the wind up and the pitch. That one is in for a strike. 0-1, Latsnick on second base for the Royals. The Royals under the direction of head coach Bartholomew Donnelly. Here's the pitch from Smith, 0-1. is going to miss outside, and we go 1-1 here in the top of the first. Nobody out yet. The Royals have a runner on second base. The Pirates, of course, in their gold uniform, black number and trim, black ball cap. Here's the pitch from Smith, 1-1. This one's going to be fouled straight up into the air. Against these long shadows we have on the field right now, some of the fielding may be difficult, both in the infield and outfield. Infield umpire Adam Sepik has parked himself between the mound and second base. Here's the pitch from Smith. That one's going to miss just a bit. Upstairs, and a 2-2 count right now for Dom Smith against the second hitter this evening for the Royals, Jace Medlock. Again, the Royals in their blue uniform. This one swung on. And that is going to be a punch out. One down, Dom Smith, good work there. And we'll see the third batter in this lineup for the Royals now coming to the plate, Jackson Donnelly. Latsnick got us started with a double. And this one's going to be fouled back. And of course, we had the strikeout for the first down. And now we'll see the number three hitter, Jackson Donnelly. Donnelly, left-handed bat. Going to work here against Dom Smith, down 0-1. Smith going to spin around and check on Latsnick, who dives back. Beautiful turf infield here, of course, on the field we play tonight. Here's the pitch from Smith. Latsnick's going to go, and there's going to be no throw. Latsnick is going to trot into third base without a throw. And now the Royals have a golden opportunity with one down, and Jackson Donnelly at the plate. Here's the pitch to the lefty way outside. Donnelly's going to leave it out there. The Royals in their blue uniform tonight, gray pants, white number, and trim. Here's the pitch from Smith. And this one is hit into right field. Will it stay fair is the question. And that one is not going to stay fair. Really well struck ball, though. No question about that. Jackson Donnelly giving that one a ride, probably getting a few people here nervous. We've got quite a good crowd on hand, and I wonder if anyone had parked their vehicle down the right field line, may have just got very nervous about the condition of their windshield if that one had hooked just a bit more. Swinging through, making some contact here is going to be Donnelly. Another foul ball. Latsnick getting some instruction from his coach in the third base box. Now he's going to take his lead. Smith, quick check on him, pitches home, and he gets a strike. The ball is lost, so taking off for first base will be Donnelly, but he's thrown out there, two down. 
Good work by Dom Smith to battle back and get that at bat under control for the Pirates. Now we'll see the number four hitter for the Royals, Bennett Matasic. Matasic wears number eight for the Royals. The Royals again sponsored by Ford of Uniontown. Here's the pitch by Smith. That one's going to get away from the backstop, but Smith very quickly trots home to cover. Two down. The Royals do have the runner on third base. We, of course, want to thank our sponsors, as always, for making this broadcast possible tonight. We want to thank you for joining us. We had viewership from across the nation, I'm told, last evening. A couple viewers from the Rocky Mountain states, some great-grandparents checking out the grandkids back here in southwestern Pennsylvania. Smith misses with that one. Still patiently waiting on third base. Nolan Latznick. Latznick going to take his lead. Here's the pitch from Smith and swinging through this one is going to be the number four hitter, Bennett Matasic. Uh, second consecutive lefty in this lineup for the Royals. Smith coming set. He'll deal and this one fouled back. The Royals have definitely made some good contact here in the top of the first inning. They unfortunately just have not kept them all fair. We really saw Jackson Donnelly just a few minutes ago lay into one. Here's the pitch from Smith on its way, again fouled back. Beautiful evening here, Thursday, May the 2nd in southwestern Pennsylvania. First pitch temperature was 77 degrees. We, of course, will see declining temps. Here's the pitch from Smith. This one is fouled up over top and we're gonna have a free souvenir for this young lady seated behind home plate. She caught it in her chair. That was really impressive. She nearly caught it inside of a cup holder. That was some great work. Here's the pitch by Smith. This one's upstairs and it's gonna be left there by Bennett Matasic. But we will see declining temperatures as the game unfolds. Temperatures declining perhaps to as low as 74 or 73 degrees. Smith again dealing here. This one going to be fouled off again. Now here's the scary thing sent toward vehicles, and it's going to strike a vehicle. And unfortunately, that one draws some good contact against a vehicle. Parked down the left field line. I'm actually parked down the left field line, but I parked as far out there as possible near the 212 mark. Here's the pitch from Smith. This one going to be chopped on the ground toward third, up with it, and on to first base. He's going to beat it. No, he will not. The call on the field is out, and that's going to do it for the Royals here in the top of the first inning. We have played a half a frame. Your score, Royals nothing, Pirates nothing. When we come back here on the South Union Township Sports Network, we will see for the first time the Pirates coming to the plate. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. The Royals and Pirates, some little league action tonight here at Hutchison. We're glad that you have taken the time to join us. Pitching for the Royals tonight will be number six, Jace Medlock. He's preparing himself right now to face this Pirates lineup. We do want to thank our sponsors again, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes. SWGI specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, and South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. The Royals did pick up a hit in the top of the first inning from Nolan Latznick, and Latznick ultimately made his way 
all the way to third base. He had initially hit a double and then stole third uncontested but was left there. And so the Pirates escaped the top of this frame without surrendering any runs. Leading us off for the Pirates tonight will be Aiden Spillman. And Spillman is preparing to step into the batter's box now. He will be followed by James Golden, who will bat second for us this evening, and Dom Smith, who's in the hole and doing the pitching tonight for the Pirates. And now we're ready to go in the bottom of the first inning. First pitch struck back past the pitcher, going to be cut off at second, and this is going to turn into a pretty routine play. Good hit there from Spielman. But the Royals all over it, and they will retire him at first base. So we will see a ground out here for the Pirates to get things started. Coming to the plate now, James Golden. Golden, right-handed bat. And he's going to chop one on the ground. This will be a tough play, though. Golden had a good jump on that one. He's going to beat it out, no throw. And so Golden will have himself an infield single. And that'll bring up Dom Smith, who now has a chance to help his own case. Smith will be followed by Stuart Johnson, who's now on deck. Dom Smith, right-handed bat. The pitch, so far, so good for the Pirates. Plenty of contact. This one hit past third into left field. And we've got ourselves a couple of singles for the Bucks here in the bottom of the first. So we'll see Stuart Johnson. Johnson bats fourth, wears number four, and he's going to hit here with a couple of teammates on base and one down. Jace Medlock will come set. Here's his wind and delivery. This one's going to be swung through. Good cut there by Stuart Johnson. It is 2-12 down the left field line, and we've already seen one ball. Get way out into left field. Here's the pitch. Swung through again, 0-2 now. Medlock really dealing. He's certainly attacked the strike zone here. So far, the Pirates have been able to fend him off with some ground balls, a couple of them turning into singles. The next one by Medlock, going to be cut through by Davis, and that's going to be out number two. Two down. Golden on second base, Smith on first. And we'll see the number five hitter here for the Pirates. This is Bryson Van Meter. And he'll swing at one, two. Chase Medlock. Talk about being efficient. He does not throw anything that's not a strike. These Pirates have certainly offered it just about everything. A couple of them they have turned into hits, of course. Medlock going to deal here again. And another big swing from Van Meter. 0-2. Oh, and now Medlock just needs one strike to get out of this inning. He'll come set. The runners start their move, and this one's going to be fouled back. Van Meter staying alive. Pirates and the Royals doing battle here tonight. Little League action. Hark baseball from Hutchison. Medlock with the pitch. This one going to be chopped. Back to Medlock, who makes a diving stop and throws on to first to retire Van Meter, and what a play by Medlock there. Jace Medlock diving after that ball and throwing from the ground to get the third out. So we've played one here at Hutchison. Your score, Royals nothing, Pirates nothing. When we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network, we'll be ready for inning number two.
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Joshua Scully with you this evening alongside Bill Dice, who's behind the camera for us, Royals and Pirates. So far, we've got something of a pitcher's duel. No runs yet as we prepare now for inning number two. Dom Smith continuing to work for the Pirates. And we'll see the number four hitter for the Royals. Correction, this will be the number five hitter, my apologies. Benjamin Johnson, right-handed bat who will step in. The Royals had one hit in the top of the first inning. And it will be Johnson working against Smith. He's going to check his swing here, but will take a strike. 0-1. Beautiful evening here, May the 2nd, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. first pitch. Here's the pitch from Smith. And this one is going to be hit, stays fair, but he hits it, unfortunately, right to first base. And that will retire Benjamin Johnson. Brad Sloboda will step in now, right-handed bat. And here's the first pitch for him, fouled back. One down for the Royals. The Royals, sponsored by Ford of Uniontown, coached by Bartholomew Donnelly. And the pitch from Smith. This one is going to make it go 1-1. Sloboda looking to get things started here for the Royals. This one goes inside, 2-1. Smith gave up just a one hit. In the top of the first, that was Nolan Latznick who really gave one a ride into left. And the 2-1 is going to be upstairs, 3-1. So a friendly count for Sloboda. Sloboda will be followed in the lineup by Kenneth Meadows. And the pitch. This one's in for a strike, and we're going to go full count. Smith with a big pitch here, one down, top of the second. This one is fouled back and bounces across the street, off a garbage can into the neighbor's yard. So we'll stay full. And here's the 3-2 from Smith. This one's going to miss, and Sloboda will draw the walk and make his way down to first base. So we'll see Kenneth Meadows now, the number seven hitter for the Royals. He wears number five as his uniform number, batting seventh tonight. Here's the pitch from Smith. Meadows swings through this one. Goes down 0-1. Runner on for the Royals. Smith. Dealing again. This one misses and will go 1-1, but Sloboda is going to take off for second base. Here's the throw out. Sloboda in easily. So now the Royals have a runner in scoring position. Top of the second inning. And the pitch to Meadows. Up high. So the count becoming friendly here for Kenneth Meadows with a runner in scoring position. Meadows will be followed by Jacob Hudock. Meadows will swing through here. Two, two count, one down. Smith still with an opportunity here to get this situation back in his control. Smith with the pitch. That one is going to be up high. Full count. And here's the 3-2. Swung through by Meadows, and that'll be two down. And we'll see now Jacob Hudock. Hudock wears number one for the Royals. 
Right-handed bat with a runner in scoring position. First pitch from Smith. Hudock, good cut there, but he'll go down 0-1. The Royals with two outs here and a runner on second base. Smith sends that one just a bit high. We go 1-1. Two beautiful days in a row here in southwestern Pennsylvania. You cannot beat that. The pitch from Smith. And Hudock will take a strike. Forecast for tomorrow, still warm. Perhaps not quite as clear though, here's the one two. This one's in the dirt ahead of home. So we'll even the count at two. 83 degrees, the forecasted high tomorrow. Cloudy skies expected. Rain showers, possibly even a rumble of thunder. Here is the pitch from Smith. And Hudock will swing through this one. That's gonna bring the top of the second to a conclusion for the Royals. We have played one and a half here at Hutchison. Little League, Hark Baseball tonight on the South Union Township Sports Network. Your score, the Royals nothing and the Pirates nothing. We'll come back here for the bottom of the second inning. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Joshua Scully with you this evening alongside Bill Dice. Bill working behind the camera for us tonight. Stepping in for the Pirates will be their number six hitter, Samuel Johnson. And he will swing through this first offering. The Royals sending back to the mound. Jace Medlock, Medlock was really efficient in the bottom of inning number one, and now he's up 0-2 on Samuel Johnson. Here is that 0-2 pitch. This one's gonna be chopped right back to Medlock, who gives it the glove and throws on to first, and that's gonna be a ground out. The Pirates did cobble together a couple of hits against Medlock in the bottom of the first inning. They had runners on first and second base. We're not able to get closer than that. This is Drew Gaster, the number seven hitter, who wears number nine for the Pirates. Medlock gonna get him started with a strike. Medlock has thrown a tremendous number of strikes to this point in his one and one third innings of work, 0-2. Now he's just a strike away from making that one and two thirds innings of work. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and that one's gonna miss outside. A Couple of the spectators here were worried about a slider possibly coming out of Medlock's hand. One, two, and this one's gonna be fouled high into the sky and across the street and into the neighbor's yard, this time near a picnic table. That one should be retrievable. Count will stay 1-2, Medlock, not hesitating here, coming right back with a ball inside. Drew Gaster working his way back into this count now, 2-2. Two -two. Here's the 2-2 two -two from Medlock. This one's gonna be fouled up high again, and it's nearly caught by the Royals catcher. He gave it a good chase there. Count will stay 2-2. Two -two. The 
2-2 offering from Medlock this time is downstairs. 3-2. The Royals sponsored by Ford of Uniontown, coached by Bartholomew Donnelly. This time we've got some good contact deep into center. And look out. This is going to be a comfortable double. Slide well ahead of the tag by Drew Gaster. And Gaster easily beat the tag there. Two bagger for him. And now the Pirates may have something happening here in the bottom of inning number two. One down and a runner on second base. Cole Dempsey will bat here. First pitch to Cole, going to be fouled down the first baseline. Dempsey batting with a runner on second base. Gaster delivering the second extra base hit of this contest. First one was picked up by the Royals in the top of the first inning. Medlock going to check the runner. Here's the pitch. This one sharply fouled off again. 0-2. Medlock does not hesitate to go up 0-2 on hitters, at least not this evening. Here's the 0-2, and that one's going to miss outside. Medlock will deal here. Foul back. There's a lot of talk about Medlock's slider. Count will stay 1-2. Todd Sherbondi reminding us of that. Here's the 1-2 offering. That'll miss, and we'll go 2-2. And the lights are fired up here at Hutchison. As the sun has disappeared from the field, those long shadows becoming one giant shadow. This one bounced toward first, and this should be a put out for the Royals at first. It will be. Nice work for the Royals there in the field. Number five, Kenneth Meadows getting over. Giving that one the glove and then walking it over to first base himself. For the Pirates, we'll now see Number eight, stepping in. He's a left-handed bat. He'll swing through this one. Cody Kryzak. And Medlock is up 0-1 after the first pitch. Here's the 0-1 offering, 0-2. This is a big at bat for Medlock. Medlock will check on the runner. Here's the 0-2 offering, and this one misses outside. Medlock has gone up on virtually every batter he's faced so far, 0-2. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a strikeout. The ball dropped, and then the tag applied. So we've played another half inning to complete inning number two, and your score remains nothing, nothing. Pirates... And Royals will resume here for inning number three when we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network as we prepare ourselves now for inning number three. And we've got a defensive change for the Pirates. Isaiah Nicholas is going to move into right field to begin inning number three. The Pirates sponsored by TriStar of Uniontown and the Hopwood VFD. Head coach, J.R. Golden. So far, we've got ourselves a draw here through two innings of play. And getting us started for the Royals will be number two, Mason Hancheck. And Hancheck will cut through this one. Pirates continuing to go with Dom Smith. Smith goes ahead here 0-1. Hancheck now falls behind 0-2. Hancheck is the left-handed bat. The Royals have had a base runner in each inning so far. Here's the 0-2 offering. That's going to turn into a strikeout and the first out of the third inning. And the Pirates will continue to shuffle around some defensive personnel. This will be Stuart Johnson running out to short. And the pitch from Dom Smith. This one's going to miss outside. Batting here for the Royals, Wyatt Chapman. Chapman also a left-handed bat. And after Chapman, we're back to the top of the order for the Royals. This one's going to be swung through by Chapman. Dom Smith and his mound opponent, Jace Medlock, both very efficient here so far this evening. Two pretty quick innings. And this will be a second strike on Wyatt Chapman. Chapman offering at that one. One-two count. Smith here. Will come set for the 1-2. One 1-2 two. One two is on its way. And this is going to move Chapman out of the batter's box. And we'll go 2-2. Two two. And we have a time taken. Home plate umpire Todd Sherbondi confirming with the Pirates coach. And there will be a strikeout of Chapman. Sherbondi wanted a helmet put on a player near where a warm-up was occurring down the right field line. And we have that addressed. And we're back to the top of the order now for the Royals. Smith sends in a strike here. So far, so good here in the top of the third from Dom Smith for the Pirates. Getting stronger as the game goes on. This one going to be in for a strike, and now he's up 0-2. He's taking a page out of Jace Medlock's playbook. The Royals here potentially with just one strike left this inning. Smith with the deal. This one fouled back. Nolan Latznick battling. To stay in this count, Latznick delivered the big double to get this game started. Dropped one into left field. Was into second base standing up. Moved to third on a steal. This one's going to miss up high. 2-2. Two -two. Latznick showed off some of his speed. We can see why the Royals have him at the top of the order. Here's Smith way upstairs. And now Latznick has worked his way to a full count. And here is that 3-2 pitch. Latznick's going to foul it up into the air. It's off the cage and nearly caught by a spectator. I think he shielded one vehicle from some potential damage at the very least. So the count will stay full. And 
the offering from Smith here is going to be hit, and that will stay fair for Latznick, and Latznick is going to beat out any throw. He's in at first base, so Nolan Latznick, not unlike in his first at bat where he battled and battled, hung around, delivers the hit, and the Royals have themselves a base runner, and we're going to have a time taken by the home plate umpire. We're back to the number two hitter for the Royals. This is Jace Medlock. Medlock now with a chance to help his own case against his mound opponent, Dom Smith. Smith will come set. Latznick's on the move. Medlock will take, and Latznick is in uncontested. Another stolen base for Nolan Latznick. one pitch now. Coming from Smith, Latznick again going to go. Medlock drills this one through the hole into left. Latznick around third, pushing it all the way. Throw comes back into the infield, and Latznick will score. Talk about manufacturing a run, and talk about Medlock helping his own case. Delivering the single. And now the Royals are on top, one nothing for Jackson Donnelly. Donnelly will take inside. Now Medlock is gonna move up to second base. Dom Smith, of course, needs just the one out to complete this half inning. Top of the third, Royals now leading it, one nothing. Smith with the pitch, and Medlock takes off again, slides into third, no throw. Jackson Donnelly. Ahead in the count, 2-0 against Dom Smith. Smith has been very good so far. Here's the pitch. Donnelly going to hit this one right back up the middle across the keystone. Medlock will score, and Donnelly will hold at first base. So the Royals really getting it done here with singles and stolen bases. Bennett Matasic. Will step in. Matasic going to chop one back through the middle. He'll be safely to at least first. And the throw is going to come across to try to get Donnelly at third. And that's going to let Matasic move up to second base. And we did have a timeout taken on the field. I think the Pirates may want to talk to their pitcher. Now with the Royals having two runners in scoring position. Matasic and Donnelly with almost identical singles. To this point, the Royals have plated two with two more in scoring position. Do up for the Royals, Benjamin Johnson. Johnson grounded out during his previous at bat. Here's the pitch from Smith. Johnson, right-handed bat, will swing through. Two runners in scoring position. We can hear the geese on the pond out there. We got a couple ducks on the pond here. That one is in. Beautiful evening here at Hutchison. If you're in listening distance, as much as we appreciate you checking out the South Union Township Sports Network, if you're close by, this one's going to be outside, and the runners will hold. Both thought about advancing, especially Donnelly, but he's going to make his way back now to third base. Benjamin Johnson trying to find some of the success that his teammates have found this inning, Lansnick, Medlock, Donnelly, Matasic. Four consecutive hits, this one way upstairs. Johnson will leave it there. But a beautiful evening if you're within maybe a short walk, short drive. Come check us out here at Hutchison Hark Baseball Little League. Here's the pitch from Smith, and this one's going to miss outside. Smith only needs one out. He started this inning off with two strikeouts. Here's the pitch. Johnson 
Going to launch this one foul and skyward. And it's going to bounce across the street harmlessly. No vehicles were hurt with that foul ball. Smith trying to close out the inning. And a big swing through there will do just that. We have played now two and a half. Your score, the Royals two, the Pirates nothing. When we come back, it'll be the bottom of the third inning here at Hutchison Ballpark. Little League Hark Baseball, the Pirates and Royals on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Stepping in the batter's box here in just a few seconds will be Trevin Noel. Noel will face a new pitcher for the Royals. This is going to be number eight, Bennett Matasic, taking over the pitching responsibilities for the Royals. Jace Medlock. Doing a nice job for the Royals to get this one started. Upstairs with the first pitch. Royals leading this one 2-0 two through two and a half innings. The Pirates have threatened each inning, but have not yet been able to get a run around. Good eye there by Noel. Third pitch of the at-bat on its way. This one going to be off the plate. And now a very friendly batter's count. Three-0 count here in the bottom of the third inning. The Royals scoring two in the top half of this frame to go up to nothing. Here's the pitch. And this is going to result in a walk for Noel. Swing through here. Oh, one count. And they're going to check on the runner. Noel takes off and is into second base. Now wants to go to third. And we have time taken on the field.
And the pitch from Matasic swung on here. Noel's going to retreat back to third base. This one going to be hit well and into right center. This is number three, James Golden, coming up big. And now Golden going to press it all the way home. Here's the throw, and he will be out at home. I want to correct a number in our earlier broadcast. That was Aiden Spillman who drew the walk. And advanced around there to score. And that's going to be Golden with the big hit, but out at home. And now for the Pirates, we are back to their number three hitter. This will be Dom Smith, who was going to look at a ball outside. Matasic sends this one up high, 2-0. Aiden Spielman coming around there to score on the big hit by James Golden. This one down low. So far, so good in this at bat for Dom Smith. Smith did have a single during his last at bat. The Pirates put together consecutive singles. This one's outside and that's gonna be a walk. So Smith will be on base for the second time this evening. No out yet for the Pirates. Spillman got us started with a walk. Came around to score on the big golden hit. Golden thrown out at home, so excuse me, there is one out. Taking out here on that pitch and advancing up one station for the Pirates is Dom Smith. Stuart Johnson, right-handed bat, now has a runner in scoring position. The Pirates, of course, cutting the Royals' lead to 2-1 to one as of right now and just one down. This one... Lifted high into right field. And that one is going to land fair. Very close. And off to the races here. Stuart Johnson, who comes around third. A run does score ahead of him, of course. And Johnson is going to stay at third base. Big hit there by Stuart Johnson to bring home Smith and tie this ball game at two. And now, of course, the Pirates have the go-ahead run just one station away with one down. And now the Royals want to take a minute to confer. We'll see Bryson Van Meter next for the Pirates. 2-2 two -two ball game with the potential go-ahead run at third base as the Royals Meet at the pitcher's mound. We'll take a minute and recognize our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialists, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Here's the pitch. This one is going to be hit high into the air. Shallow center. Caught there. And they may have a double play opportunity if they can get the tag at third base. And they will. And that's going to do it with the fly out. So we have a tie ball game here after three innings of play. Your score is 2-2. Pirates and Royals. Hark Little League Baseball here on the South Union Township Sports Network. When we come back, it'll be inning number four.
Jacob's favor and let me know what number Jacob laid in once again. Jacob. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network, inning number four. Just a moment away here. Hark Little League Baseball between the Pirates and the Royals. We want to thank you as always for checking us out here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Pitching now for the Pirates will be number eight. Cody Kryzak. He's a left-handed pitcher. And he'll get us started here in inning number four. This one's going to be up high. One one, the count evens. At the plate right now, Brad Sloboda. Sloboda, during his previous at bat, drew a walk. He's got a 1 1 count right now against the new pitcher for the Pirates. He hits this one and it finds its way through and to left field. Sloboda striking for a single here to get inning number four started. Nicely done by Brad Sloboda. And he's going to be backed up by Kenneth Meadows, who's in the batter's box. Meadows will foul this one back. Sloboda reaching base for the second time in this one. Cody Kryzak working here now with a runner on first base. And he'll go ahead 0-2. The Royals, sponsored by Ford of Uniontown, head coach for the Royals, Bartholomew Donnelly for the Pirates, sponsor TriStar of Uniontown, and Hopwood, that one's going to just miss, Hopwood VFD, head coach for the Pirates, J.R. Golden. We certainly want to thank all of the coaches here this evening for both teams to help make this game and leagues like this one function. This pitch is going to be outside. 2-2 two -two count now against Kenneth Meadows. Sloboda on first base. Nobody down here in inning number four. Tie ball game. Meadows going to chop this one to third. And Meadows will beat this one. And that's going to let Sloboda, the ball gets away from first base. Sloboda will make his way up to third. And Meadows is safely on first base. Good hustle there by him. Staying with it the whole way. And so now the Royals with a chance now to regain the lead. And stepping up for the Royals is number one, Jacob Hudock. Hudock batting with runners on the corners. And they're going to check on Meadows. Throw over there. Manning first base now for the Pirates is Dom Smith, who had done some, done some pitching, of course, for the Pirates. Here's the pitch to Hudak. Hudak fouls this one back toward the concession stand. Hudak certainly just put a scare into me. That one just clearing my head where I am seated here. We'll see if he's... Going to straighten one of these out and do some damage for the Royals. Here's the pitch. That one, Hudak will leave outside, and Meadows is going to advance. No intention to throw there. Some defensive indifference. 
Two runners in scoring position now for Jacob Hudock. Pitch on its way. Hudock going to chop this one past the pitcher, and it's going to be a play at first base. Hudock nearly beats it out, but a run will score, and the Royals have recaptured the lead. Hudock's ground out, generating an RBI, and the Royals are back on top, 3-2. to two. One down for Mason Hanchak. Kryzak with the pitch outside. Bryson Van Meter doing the catching for the Pirates right now. Here's the next pitch to Hancheck. That one's going to just miss. Hancheck batting with a runner on third base. Previous time through, Hancheck was a strikeout victim. But right now, he's got a very friendly count, does the left handed batter. Hancheck will be followed by Wyatt Chapman. Here's the pitch. This one's going to bounce in front of the plate, and Hancheck will draw the walk. Runners on the corners now, one down. Inning started off for the Royals with Sloboda delivering the single. Then Meadows followed suit, and Sloboda made it all the way around to third base. Wyatt Chapman, left-handed bat in here. He'll take a ball. And advancing without a throw, Mason Hancheck. Hancheck will give himself a lead. This pitch outside. Two runners in scoring position now for Wyatt Chapman. Here's the pitch. Chapman will offer it this one. The Royals ahead three to two after Meadows delivered that single and Sloboda made his way around to third. It was Jacob Hudock who drove in a run. This one outside. 3 1 count now against Wyatt Chapman. Then Hancheck, of course, drew the walk. Meadows has since made his way around to third base. Here's the pitch to Chapman. This one up high, and Chapman will draw a walk as well. So now the bases are royally loaded. First, second, and third. And we're back to the top of the order with Nolan Latznick. Nolan Latznick has played for himself a good game so far. He delivered the double to get this game started, singled, and his next plate appearance came around to score. And now he's going to bat with the bases loaded and just one out. Top of the fourth inning, Royals leading. 3-2 to two off the Jacob Hudock RBI. Sloboda scoring that go-ahead run. And this ball is going to be hit well into left. It gets down just in front of the 2-12 sign. One run will score. Two runs will score. And everybody else will be held. It's another double for Nolan Latznick. This one of the two RBI variety. And your score is now five to two. Jace Medlock batting with one down, right-handed bat, two runners in scoring position, and a five to two ball game here, top four. Medlock comes up swinging and he drives it in the left. And this one's gonna get down also to the 212 mark. Medlock is off to the races. One run scores. Medlock stops at second, two runs will score as Latznik touches home and it's another Two RBI double. Medlock giving that one a ride into left. 
And your score now, 7-2. to two. The Pirates would like to take a timeout, and that's going to allow us to talk about our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. And as it goes, that is five runs in one half inning here in the top of the fourth. So that actually brings the top of the fourth to a conclusion as per league rolls. Your score, Royal 7, Pirates 2 when we come back. It's the home half of the fourth, and the Pirates will return to the plate. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We have a new pitcher for the Royals. This will be Jackson Donnelly. And he will be starting off here against Stewart, excuse me, against Samuel Johnson, the number six hitter for the Pirates. The Pirates, sponsored by TriStar Uniontown and Hopwood VFD. Head coach J.R. Golden. I want to thank Coach Golden for helping me with the players' names and numbers as well as their positions pregame. Samuel Johnson making his way toward the batter's box as we get a few more pitches in for the Royals' new pitcher, Jackson Donnelly. Johnson, last time out, grounded out. He's going to be followed this inning by Drew Gaster, who delivered a double for the Pirates, who now find themselves trailing 7-2. The Royals found a lot of success in the top of the fourth inning. A couple of singles from Sloboda and Meadows. Then Hudock drove in a run. Hancheck and Chapman both walked. Latznick really opened things up with a big double. Drove in two. Medlock followed suit with a two-RBI double of his own. And the Pirates now are facing a five-run deficit. Thank you, as always, for joining us on the South Union Township Sports Network here at Hutchison Park. We're not too terribly far away from the border between North and South Union Townships, and I'm sure we are welcoming in viewers and listeners from both places. Those two townships, of course, were one township until 1851, formed out of Union Township. Union Township was an original township to Fayette County. Here's the first pitch to Samuel Johnson. That one's upstairs, 1-0. Union Township, one of the original townships all the way back from 1783 when the county was formed. That one misses 2-0. Fayette County, of course, was essentially cut out of Westmoreland County in 1783. Here's the 2-0 pitch on its way. This one's in for a strike, 2-1.
2-1 pitch coming now from Donnelly. That one misses outside. 3-1 to Samuel Johnson. Johnson, of course, looking to get something started here for the Pirates. Right-handed bat. Pirates trailing by five here. Johnson's going to swing through this to make the count go full. But Union Township split in 1851 into North and South Union Township. Those two townships today are home to just about 23,000 people combined. That pitch outside, and Samuel Johnson has drawn a walk. And so the Pirates have a base runner ahead of Drew Gaster. That's a good situation to be in. Gaster really gave one a ride his last time up. And now he's going to do so with a runner on base. Here's the pitch. Strike one called, 0-1. Of course, we're not too far away from the historic community of Hopwood either. Hopwood home to about 2,000 people. Here's the pitch. This one's going to be lifted foul, and the home plate umpire, Todd Shabondi, reminding everyone to keep their eyes out for that foul ball, which came off Gaster's bat pretty sharply over top of the press box here at Hutchison. Donnelly takes a minute and chases back the runner, Johnson, to first base. Here's the pitch from the righty, Donnelly. That one's going to miss. So if you're joining us tonight from North or South Union Township or from the community of Hopwood, here's the pitch from Donnelly. That one's going to miss down low. Hopwood, of course, if memory serves me correctly, is technically part of South Union Township. If you're joining us from any of those places, welcome to the South Union Township Sports Network. This one's outside, and we'll see if... Gaster cannot repeat his magic from his previous at bat when he delivered an extra base hit. The pitch from Donnelly is going to be swung through, and Gaster is down on strikes. Cole Depsey is next up. And the home plate umpire. Once a time, I think they're returning a baseball to him. He's going to stick that into his apron. And now we're ready to go. Runner on first. Pitch from Donnelly. Going to be up high. And the Royals really keeping an eye on Samuel Johnson. Who very confidently builds a lead for himself once again. Here's the pitch from Donnelly. This one's outside. Beautiful night here at Hutchison Park. This is the second consecutive night the South Union Township has been here. Pitch from Donnelly. This one misses outside, and that's going to queue up Johnson to take off. Throw out to second is not going to get him. He's in to second base. Now the Pirates have a runner in scoring position. One down. And a 3-0 count here. 3-0 on its way. That's in for a strike. Three one pitch. Johnson again taking a generous lead off of second base. This one misses, and Depsey will draw a walk. Johnson will try to steal third off of that. And he is in safely. That'll bring Cody Kryzak to the plate. Good opportunity here now for the Pirates. Foul ball, left-hand side toward the Royals' dugout. Todd Sherbondi and Adam Sepik are officials tonight. Home plate umpire right now, Todd. Infield umpire, Adam. Here's the 0-1 pitch. That one's outside. Ball's going to get away. And Depsey easily moves up to second base. So now the Pirates really in business here with one down. 
And two runners in scoring position. This was, of course, a 2-2 ball game heading into this inning before the Royals opened things up in the top half of this frame. Swinging through here is Kryzak. Donley coming set. Here's the pitch. This one's fouled back very sharply. Now a chance for Jackson Donnelly to battle his way back into this inning as he looks to protect a five-run lead for his Royals. The Royals, of course, wearing their blue uniform tonight. White trim, white number. Here's the pitch. And swinging through this one. Ball gets away, though, so they're going to have to try to throw him out. And Johnson's going to press it for home. And he's in. A run will score there. Johnson coming around, and Depsey moving up to third base. So there is two down now. And we will see Trevin Noel. This pitch in for a strike. Troll Dempsey leading off a third. Cole pretty quick on those base paths. This one in for a second strike. Cole Dempsey will again take his lead. A couple of steps toward home in what has become a 7-3 ball game. Donnelly with a chance to pick up the strikeout here with one more strike on its way. And that's in for strike three, and that's going to do it for inning number four. So the Pirates pick up one and leave a man, and your score is now 7-3 to three as we head in to inning number five. Pirates and Royals hark Little League Baseball here tonight at Hutchison on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. Your sponsors for tonight's broadcast, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialists, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. And we have a new pitcher now for the Pirates, Aiden Spielman. He'll be pitching here in inning number five with the Pirates trailing seven to three. The last inning was, of course, a very, very successful one for the Royals. And we are expecting to see, getting us started for the Royals here, Jackson Donnelly. The Royals struck for five runs in the top of the fourth, and that, of course, was the maximum that they could score in one half inning. And so the last batter was Medlock. He doubled, drove in two runs. Jackson Donnelly, the left-handed bat. Spielman's first pitch upstairs and outside. We want to welcome in all of our viewers from across the country here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Pitch upstairs, 2-0. We really appreciate the viewership, certainly. Joshua Scully here with you this evening at Hutchison alongside Bill Dice. This one's going to be chopped into the ground to short, and it's a good-looking play for the Pirates in time. Dom Smith securing it on the receiving end. A very, 
Strong throw there by Stuart Johnson, who did not miss a beat for the Pirates. One down. And we'll see for the Royals now, Bennett Matasic, number eight. This one's going to skip on the ground in front of Matasic. Spillman doing the pitching for the Pirates. Pirates have sent a couple of different players to the mound so far in this one. Here's the 1-0. That one's upstairs, 2-0. Beautiful night here at Hutchison. Air temperature right now floating around the mid-70s. Right about 73. This ball is hit high into the air, and that one nearly leaves the yard. It's against the wall all the way out into right field. What a hit by Bennett Matasic. And will he make it all the way around? He's going to push for home, and he's in. That's a home run for the Royals. And they will get back that run that the Pirates picked up in the bottom of the previous inning. What a hit. That one just carried and carried and carried off the bat. Down the right field line here, it is 200 feet. That one went just about that far. In the batter's box now for the Royals, Benjamin Johnson. And off the bat, that one looked like it might hang up and be a catchable ball, and it just kept going. That one's upstairs. So the Royals really coming on strong here in the later stages of this game. This one fouled back. The Royals have scored now six runs between the fourth and fifth innings. And this is going to be a strikeout. Two down here in the top of the fifth. And now we're going to see Brad Sloboda, who has been perfect tonight. He'll bat with two down. Sloboda chops this one toward the Pirates' dugout. Sloboda singled, of course, to start the big fourth inning for the Royals. Sloboda would come around to score. This one's going to be inside. He was driven in by Jacob Hudak. Sloboda, of course, walking in his first appearance. And right now he's in pretty good shape. Aiden Spielman does have two outs here in the top of the fifth. He's looking for out number three. Here's the pitch. This one up high. Sloboda will leave it. 3-1 count. Sloboda with a chance perhaps to draw another walk. This one going to miss the mark outside. And Sloboda will indeed draw the walk. And that's going to queue up Kenneth Meadows. Meadows, the right-handed bat, had a single his last time through. Really had a single that he made happen with his legs. Hustled down the first baseline, beat it out. Always great to see out of players from this age, that level of hustle. He swings through this one. Home plate umpire, Todd Shabondi, reminding everyone of the 1-1 one -one count. Spillman kicks and deals. Meadows will swing through this one to fall behind. One and two. Sloboda on first base, giving himself a little bit of a lead here towards second. This one's going to be outside. Meadows will leave it. Sloboda thought about it, then shook his head no and went back to first. Spillman looking for out number three here. He'll bounce this one off the plate. Full count. Infield umpire, Adam Sepik, working between home plate and second right now. Let's 
Spillman will kick and deal again. This one in for a strike, and that is strike three. And so the Pirates limit the damage to the home run ball and will come back to the plate here in the bottom of inning number five when we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network. <laughs> Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We travel now into the bottom of inning number five. Pirates and Royals. Royals leading eight to three after that big fourth inning. Two to two prior to that. Then the Royals jumped out seven to two. Pirates struck for one in the bottom of the fourth frame. Royals got that one back off the home run ball in the top of the fifth. Bennett Matasic launching one into right. A ball that just seemed to go and go and go. Landed right at the base of the fence near the 200 mark. And we will have a new pitcher for the Royals. Nolan Latznick, who has really got it done at the plate for the Royals in this game. That is to say the very least. Couple of doubles tonight. Couple of RBIs. He's going to face for the Pirates Jacob Lehman, Isaiah Nicholas, and then back to the top of the order with Aiden Spielman. We'll play six innings here tonight. This is the bottom of the fifth. We want to thank our sponsors South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, United Bank. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and physical therapist Jim Burns, SWGI specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, and Smith Lewis Chess, CPAs in Uniontown. Latznick going to get us started. Good looking pitch, just misses. 1 0. Lehman, Nicholas, and Spielman do up. Of course, this is Lehman. Lehman's ahead now, 2-0. Latznick has delivered a couple of big hits here tonight at the plate. We'll see how he does from the mound. Here's the 2-0. That one's down low, 3-0. And so Lehman now with a chance to get himself back into this one. And sure enough, he'll draw the walk. Does Jacob Lehman. The Pirates, of course, really just need a couple of base runners. They still have plenty of time. This is going to be Isaiah Nicholas. Pirates wearing their gold uniform. Black number, black trim. Gold socks. Latznick will come set. Here's the pitch. And that one's in. Pirates sporting a pretty sharp uniform. Of course, the Royals in that sky blue also looking pretty sharp here tonight. And they'll check on Lehman. He comes back to first base. Latznick now will step back up. Check the runner again. And here's the pitch. 
This one is in for a called strike. Latznick will check on Lehman, and now he'll deal. This one swung through. And that's going to be a strikeout. Isaiah Nicholas down on strikes. One runner on, one down. And it's back to the top of the order now for the Pirates with Aiden Spillman. Spillman will take his place on the right-hand side to face Latznick. Here's the first pitch of this at bat. It's going to miss outside in the dirt. 1-0. Spillman last time. Drew a walk, came around to score a run off the big hit from James Golden. Golden was thrown out at home. He nearly had himself a home run. Spillman comes around empty with a big swing here. Lehman will take a couple steps towards second. And here's the pitch from Latznick. This one swung through. One, two count. One, two on its way. This one's going to miss up high. They'll check on Lehman again. Lehman back in time. This one also misses, so now Spillman fights his way back into this at bat. Latznick with the pitch, and Spillman will swing through here, and he will strike out. Two down for the Pirates. And that's going to bring... James J.R. Golden back to the plate. Golden delivered the big hit for the Pirates his last time through, drove in a run, nearly came around to score himself, was tagged out at home, and he'll bat here with two down and a runner on first base against Nolan Latznick. Latznick going to check on the base runner, and Lehman is back in time. Latznick redirecting his attention to J.R. Golden. This one's going to miss. The Pirates sponsored by TriStar Uniontown and Hopwood VFD. Also coached by J.R. Golden. Here's the pitch from Latznick, and Golden will offer it this one up high. The Royals, sponsored by Ford of Uniontown, coached by Bartholomew Donnelly. The Royals do lead this one right now. Latznick will fire home another strike. And we've got ourselves now a 2-2 count against J.R. Golden. Latznick checks on the runner, sends home the 2-2. This one's up high. And Golden will leave it there. Full count now. The Royals with a chance to keep their 8-3 lead intact. Golden, though, says, I don't think so, and he launches this one into left field. Layman's around second. Here's Golden pushing all the way for two. Layman is going to be tagged out at third base, and Golden launched that one deep into the night. But unfortunately for the Pirates, the inning will come to a close there. And now we'll head into inning number six on the South Union Township Sports Network. Hark Baseball here at Hutchison. The Pirates and Royals. Little League Baseball on the South Union Township Sports Network. When we come back, it'll be the final inning of play, inning number six.
Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network. We'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouls Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Pitching for the Pirates, we've got James J.R. Golden, number three. And the Royals lead 8-3, to three, so Golden will want to keep the Royals right there in order to give his Pirates a fighting chance in the bottom half of this inning. Do up for the Royals will be number one, Jacob Hudock. And Hudock will make his way to the batter's box. Following Hudock will be Hancheck and Chapman in this Royals lineup. Hudock drove in an RBI during his previous at bat. Little did we know. It was the beginning of the tide turning in this game, a 2-2 tie at that point. Hudock drove in the run to make it a 3-2 ball game. This one misses outside. Golden will come set and the pitch. This one misses. In any case, Hudock's driving in of that run made the game three to two. Here's Golden's pitch, and Hudock will check his swing. Two one, the count. Here is the two one pitch. This one's going to skip to home. Three one. But after Hudock drove in that run, the Royals were. In pretty quick order, good for four more. And a 3-2 game turned into a 7-2 game. And Hudock's going to draw a walk here and make his way down to first base. Due up now for the Royals will be Mason Hancheck. Hancheck drew a walk. Ultimately came around to score his last time up. This pitch up high. Hand check set to be followed. In the order tonight for the Royals by Wyatt Chapman. This one also upstairs. 2-0 count. Jacob Hudock on first base. Will take a lead towards second. And this pitch is going to chase Hancheck out of the batter's box, 3-0. Golden checks the runner. Here's the pitch. This one's outside, and it's going to be a four-pitch walk. And making his way down to first base, Mason Hancheck. Runners on first and second now for Wyatt Chapman. And after Chapman, we're back to the top of the order. That, of course, being Nolan Latznick. Latznick has been very busy this evening. Golden sends this one on its way, swung through by Chapman. One one count. Golden with the one one pitch. This one's up high. Gets away. Both Hudock and Hancheck thought about going on the move there and decide to retreat back to second and third base, respectively. Now they'll take their leads. Pitch from Golden. Swung through by Chapman. 
We, of course, crossed into the 9 o'clock hour here at Hutchison a few minutes ago in an 8-3 to three ball game. This one's going to be a foul tip. No, they will. Apparently, that was off the catcher's equipment. Certainly looked from this vantage like maybe Chapman had stuck his bat out there and made some contact, but instead... We're going to go full count, and the runners move up a station. And now Chapman hits one right back to Golden. And Golden will throw on to first base. Golden retires Chapman. Chapman lined that one right back at him. One down, and we will see Latsnick now with runners in scoring position. And Latsnick really lays into this one. That poor white pickup truck in left field has been struck a couple times tonight. Latsnick down 0-1. Takes a ball, 1-1. Latsnick already has a couple of RBIs to his credit tonight. There's... Two more out there waiting for him. Here's the pitch from Golden. This one outside. Here's Golden with a delivery. This one up high. Latsnick will leave it. 3-1 your count. And here is that 3-1 pitch. That one misses outside, and Latsnick draws a walk. But given the game he's played tonight, that may not have been the worst-case scenario for the Pirates. And the Pirates would like to take time here and discuss their situation with the Royals having loaded the bases once again. If you're watching this game on Breeze Line or Armstrong Cable, we'd like to let you know that South Union Township Sports Network games and programs are now available live online. It's easy to find. Just log on to YouTube.com and search South Union Television or follow the South Union Township Sports Network on Facebook for program updates. Facebook.com backslash South Union TV. Subscribe for notifications when we go live. Now up for the Royals, we'll see the number two hitter in their order, Jace Medlock. Medlock will take a ball outside. Night has fallen upon us here at Hutchison. Here's the 1-0. That one's upstairs, and Medlock will leave it there. 2-0. With the bases loaded, the 2-0 offering is going to drive Medlock down, and we'll go 3-0. So now a ball will walk in. Jacob Hudock, here is the 3-0 offering. Swinging at that one with the green light is Medlock. J.R. Golden looking to get a couple more strikes over here. 3-1 is the count. Here is the 3-1 pitch. That one gets away, and Medlock will draw a walk. That's going to walk in Jacob Hudock. And that makes your score 9-3. And we may see a pitching change here for the Pirates. Indeed, we will. New pitcher being summoned from the outfield. The Royals, of course, have kept the bases loaded. And for the Pirates now, we will see number two pitching, Cole Depsey. Depsey has proven himself to be pretty quick on the bases here tonight. Now he's going to try his hand at pitching. We want to thank you, as always, for joining us on the South Union Township Sports Network, for joining us for some late night. Little League Baseball action here. Hark Baseball. Last night we had some 10U Baseball action. Tonight, Little League. You're not the first person, of course, to enjoy an evening in this part of Fayette County. We've had some 
Famous Americans stopped through this area on their way along the National Road. A couple of former presidents, James Buchanan, James K. Polk, both previously spent a night in the Hopwood area while on the move. William Henry Harrison, also former president, stopped in Hopwood while traveling the National Road. William Henry Harrison, of course, the shortest serving U.S. president also lends his name to an excellent wing flavor if you're interested in that sort of thing. I don't know if anyone out there has ever had William Henry Harrison sauce. If not, you need to give it a try. Cole Dempsey now ready to go. And we're going to see Jackson Donnelly at the plate. Here's the pitch, and this one is going to be hit between short and third. One run will score, and the Royals are going to try for two, but what a throw. Beating it just barely for the Royals. Number four, Nolan Latznick. Two more runs coming across there, but oh my, what a throw for the Pirates. Nice piece of hitting there for the Royals. Jackson Donnelly delivering the hit, and we're going to check on the Pirates catcher who may have drew some contact there. Donnelly knocking in a couple of RBIs to further extend this lead. What do you think it happened? Hopefully everyone's going to be okay. It looks like... Everyone seems to be fine. The umpire's checking. And it looks like the Pirates catcher had the ball pop up on that throw and get under his face mask. But he gets a big round of applause from the crowd, which has stayed faithful here at Hutchison in the later stages of this game. And now we'll see number eight, Bennett Matasic. Matasic. Of course, delivered the big hit his last time through. This pitch is upstairs. Now the Royals want to try to score on that, and they will. Nice hustle coming down the line by Jace Medlock. Medlock didn't think twice about it. He saw that ball skip away, and he was down third baseline in a heartbeat. Matasic going to leave that one outside. Matasic, of course, delivered that big home run. In the fifth inning, a moonshot. I don't see the moon tonight. It probably went into hiding after that. This pitch is going to skip at Matasic's feet. Depsy will continue to work here. The Royals still have a runner on third. This one misses outside. And Matasic will draw a walk. So runners at the corners now for the Royals. Good night for Matasic at the plate. And following Matasic is going to be Benjamin Johnson. Johnson fouls this one off. So Matasic, who had a good start down to second base, will be Summoned back. Mentioning William Henry Harrison. Some William Henry Harrison sauce on about a dozen wings starting to sound pretty good right now. Depsey with the pitch. And this one is going to hit Johnson. And so Johnson will take his base. And the Royals have loaded the bases once again. And that was the first hit batsman tonight. So we'll see Brad Sloboda. That one's in for a strike. Sloboda has been very good at the plate tonight. Someone in the crowd is asking him to hit one into the pond. That, of course, would plate four and maybe scare away some geese. Here's the pitch from Depsey. Sloboda going to take inside. Sloboda, though, 
has truly been good at the plate tonight. He's reached every single appearance. And he's going to bat here with the bases loaded. This pitch skips outside. Jackson Donnelly thought about coming home there and then decided to retreat back to third base. Matasic, of course, on second. Dempsey going to check on Donnelly. Nearly had him. Very close. Good snap throw over by Dempsey. Dempsey will come set here. That pitch is going to miss up high. Matasic gave himself a big lead that time. He was practically halfway to third base. And this one is going to skip off to the side. And Sloboda will draw a walk, and that drives in a run. So far, so good for the Royals this inning. Just one down. And after Sloboda, we're going to see Kenneth Meadows. Meadows will hit with the bases loaded. Here's the pitch to him up high. Really nice last couple innings for the Royals. Innings four, five, and six all bearing fruit. Meadows swings through this one. 1-1 one, one count. Dempsey wants to check on the runner. This one gets thrown away. That's going to let Matasic come home. And Matasic will score. Dempsey with the 1-1 offering. Runners on first and second now. Meadows swings through. Maybe got a piece of that. But we're going to go 1-2. And Meadows will take a cut at this one. He's going to hustle down to first base. And that will go in the books as two down. Of course, the runners right now are on first and second. Back up once again for the Royals, Jacob Hudock. Hudock actually got us started this inning. He drew a walk, came around to score. And now Hudock is going to drop this one to near the keystone, and everybody is going to be safe for the Royals. And so Hudock continues to find a way to get it done here for the Royals. He's... Had himself a good couple innings. And now he finds himself on first base with Mason Hancheck batting for his second time this inning. Here's the pitch. Hancheck going to wave at this one and miss. Base is loaded for the Royals. Hudock has now reached twice in this inning. Handcheck jumping away from that one. Dempsey going outside here, 2-1. Two, two down, top of the sixth. Another big inning for the Royals. Of course, you don't have the scoring cap in the final inning of play. This one's in for a strike. We'll go 2-2 against Hancheck. Dempsey takes a look around at the base runners. And he will strike out Mason Hancheck to end the top half of the sixth inning. Good strong inning for the Royals here to build upon their lead. When we come back, it will be the bottom of the final frame here at Hutchison, Hark Baseball Little League on the South Union Township 
Sports Network. Nolan Latznick will stay on the hill for the Royals. And what will be the bottom of the sixth inning, 14 to three, your score in favor of the Royals. The Pirates sending to the plate Dom Smith here to get the bottom half of inning number six started. Latznick firing one in. This one's going to be popped up, and it will drop in to shallow right. Smith, of course, nothing to lose here. He's going to push his luck all the way into second. He's in, standing up. So a good start for the Pirates, to say the very least. Smith capitalizing on that hit that drops into right. A couple of Royals trying to converge on it, just no one could quite get there in time. And so now we'll see Stuart Johnson. Here's the pitch. This one's in for a strike. And Johnson crushes this one. And that telephone pole, or light pole rather, just saved probably some glass out down the left field line. That one was absolutely torched by Stuart Johnson. Johnson going to lay into this one too, pops it up. It will drop foul. Johnson, of course, came up with the big hit during his previous at bat. And certainly making some strong contact here again. He's going to be followed in this Pirates lineup by Bryson Van Meter. This one outside. Van Meter in turn followed by Samuel Johnson. Stuart Johnson batting with a runner in scoring position. Nobody down here. Bottom six. Pitch on its way. This one outside. That's going to let Smith advance to third. Stuart Johnson. Ready to go with a runner on third base. Here's the pitch from Latznick up high. Johnson ducks out of the way. A couple of really good hits here tonight. That foul ball just hit by Stuart Johnson may be the best hit ball of the evening. That pitch outside, and that's going to walk Johnson. But we had a couple of other really good hits stay fair. And Johnson is not going to hesitate. He takes right off for second base, and he's in there. So nobody down. Runners on second and third. So two runners in scoring position for Bryson Van Meter. Here's the pitch from Latznick. Van Meter hits it to Latznick, and hopefully Latznick is okay. He's been line drived there in the right leg. Two runs will score, Smith and Johnson. And Latznick 
pointing to his right leg. Hopefully he is going to be okay. We'll take a brief pause here following that hit by the Pirates and recognize our sponsors. Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, and the South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. And Nolan Latznick is back on his feet. He's going to make his way to the dugout. And the Royals are going to send a new pitcher to the mound. And due up for the Pirates will be their number six hitter, Samuel Johnson. Johnson wears number seven for the Pirates. Van Meter will get credit for driving in those two runs for the Pirates to make this a 14-5 game. And the new pitcher for the Royals is going to be Benjamin Johnson. Johnson will get a minute here to loosen. And we have a pinch runner on first base for the Pirates. That's going to be number one, Aiden Spellman. Spillman will give himself a one-step lead. So point is down. Benjamin Johnson ready to get started here against Samuel Johnson. This pitch upstairs. Spillman takes off and gets into second base without a throw. Nobody out yet for the Pirates. This one's in for a strike. The Pirates certainly... Not done yet. This game 14 to 5. Runner in scoring position. Johnson takes a big swing. Comes up empty. Watch for a curveball. Johnson now will deliver. This one's going to miss. Spillman ready to be on the move here from second base. Had a Good jump off of second base. And now Johnson will send the 2-2 pitch on its way. Here it is. This one inside. Going to move Samuel Johnson back off the plate. And we've got a full count. Nobody out yet. The Pirates have already got a couple runs to come around and score to make this one a 14-5 ball game. Johnson with a delivery. And Samuel Johnson fouls this one back up off the cage. Benjamin Johnson takes a peek at the runner. Now sends this one home, and this is going to walk Samuel Johnson. And as the ball gets away, Spillman will move up to third base. Samuel Johnson will make his way down to first. And we'll see now for the Pirates. Coming to the plate, Drew Gaster. Drew Gaster had a big hit earlier in this one. I'm sure the Pirates would like to see something similar here. And of course Samuel Johnson very aggressive on the bases. He just started on the run without thinking twice about it. Makes it down to second base comfortably. Samuel Johnson was very aggressive on the bases the last time he reached. And right now he's the third of the way to third base. Benjamin Johnson with the pitch. This one's going to spin Gaster around. 
Right now the Pirates are on the cusp of maybe making this a very interesting sixth inning. Johnson sends this one through for a strike. Two one count, the Pirates sponsored by TriStar Uniontown and Hopwood VFD coached by J.R. Golden. Here's the pitch, this one again is gonna back up Gaster inside. If you're listening to the South Union Township Sports Network tonight and you're listening in support of the Pirates, maybe a good time to get some relatives on the line. Here's the pitch from Johnson. This one's in for a strike right at the knee. Full count, but maybe give aunts and uncles, cousins, grandparents a call. Tell them, Find us on Facebook, Gaster swings through here. He's just the first out, though, so the Pirates still have two outs to work with. Two runners in scoring position. Following Gaster, Cole Depsey. Depsey comes up swinging and misses here. Plenty of speed on base for the Pirates, too. Samuel Johnson, Aiden Spillman, and this ball is hit well. It's going to get down into left center, and it's going to roll, roll, roll. Spillman comes across the score easily. Spillman is in. Here comes Samuel Johnson. He'll trot home. It's a two-RBI double for Cole Depsey. And look out. The Pirates have cut this lead to 14-7. To and have a runner in scoring position with just one out. Depsey will waste no time moving over to third base. Cody Kryzak at the plate, left-handed bat to face the righty Johnson. He swings through this one, he's down 0-2. The Pirates still have two outs to work with. They've got a runner, one station away in a 14-7 game. This one way upstairs. Debsey thinks about it and will make his way back to third base. When this bottom of the sixth inning started, we had a 14 to three ball game. The Pirates have come to life here, although this strikeout is gonna put them down to their final out. Depsey remains at third base in a 14-7 ball game with two down. This is Trevin Noel. We want to thank our umpires again tonight, Todd Sherbondi, Adam Sepik. They've done a great job. We want to thank our coaches, too, the head coaches in this one, Bartholomew Donnelly, J.R. Golden. Here's the pitch. This one's up high, but will be called a strike. Trevin Noel. At the plate, he'll bat here with a runner on third. Here's the pitch. This one is going to skip across home. Debsey thinks about it. Now he's going to be chased back to third. We might have had a run down there, but the Royals will decide to hold it and let Debsey return safely. We want to thank all of our viewers tonight. Johnson will check on that runner. Now he sends the pitch home. And this one's going to back up Trevor Noel. 2-1 count. Last night we had a couple of 10U baseball games on the South Union Township Sports Network. Here's this one up high and in. So now a 3-1 count against Trevor Noel. And swinging through here, full count. And this is gonna be a third strike called and that'll do it. Your final score tonight, 14 to seven in favor of the Royals. But the Pirates representing themselves very well there in the bottom of the sixth inning putting four runs across home plate.
to make your final score 14 to 7. The teams now will line up to shake hands. And we want to thank you again for checking us out here tonight. One more time, recognizing our sponsors, Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, United Bank, South Union Township Supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. We want to thank our umpires and, of course, Bill Dice, who worked behind the camera for us tonight. We want to thank our coaches one more time, too, and, of course, all of our viewers. We've enjoyed great viewership over the last two evenings here at Hutchison for Hark Baseball. Today's game on the South Union Township Sports Network has been a joint cooperative venture with Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, along with Armstrong and Breezeline Cable and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, our final score tonight, Royals 14, Pirates 7. For the South Union Township Sports Network, I'm Joshua Scully. You've been watching the South Union Township Sports Network.